everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Jessica and today I have my weekly makeup basket. You heard that right, weekly. I am bringing it back on a weekly basis. I'm kind of caught up on some things and I will keep it weekly until um, I just can't anymore once the renovations start on our lower level and things get a little bit crazy. But for right now, I'm back to weekly. I kind of missed it. Um, there were some positives to having a bi-weekly makeup basket, but um, I felt like some of my products I just was not um, getting enough usage on or I would like forget to put them in and then I couldn't touch them for two weeks and then I would forget to put that, them in the next time and then you know a month has gone by and I haven't touched a single product um, in like a certain project. So um, I'm back to weekly for that reason because um, it's kind of thrown off my game a little bit and I need to to get some stuff done. I was just discussing that with my girl Dana. I'm like, if I do not get some stuff used up and out, I'm gonna be screwed for the rest of the year because it is really, really thrown off my game. I have like a loose hair on me. I couldn't find it. All right, um, let's get into this weekly makeup basket. Um, a lot of them are gonna be um, same old, same old because I use them all the time and it's like my one thing that I need to get used up. So. My um, primer, Essence Prime and Studio with the black clay. I'm gonna be using that. I feel like, mm, not this basket, but maybe this month. That would be so cool to have that done. Um, my Franken foundation, I believe this is Bare Minerals, one of the really, really dark ones. I, like, really, really, really dark. I don't even remember what it's called anymore, like maybe Warm Tan or something like that crazy dark. Um, all right, I've got my two color correctors, green and lavender, NYX and Catrice. So let's get those out of the way. Um, I'm putting in two powders because um, I kind of feel like I need the slight color correcting of the NYX lavender, but then um, later in the day, I don't actually need the lavender when I touch up, like, cause I'm, I'm oily this time of year, especially. Um, so I want to, um, continue to work on the essence all about matte fixing powder. So I'm going to have both of those in for this week for, you know, when I do my makeup lavender, and then when I, um, touch up later in the day, then I will use the, the matte one. All right. Um, let's see. I have a ton of stuff right here. Um, this is the blush. I'm going to continue to work on it. It was in my last basket. I'm, I'm really just enjoying it. It is um, two different blushes from Coastal Scents. And um, yeah, they're, they're suiting my needs. And it's a small one. And I, I feel like I feel like I want to work on the small ones just to kind of get it out so that um, it can improve my numbers. I know that's kind of, you know, lame that I'm using small ones to improve my numbers. But, you know, sometimes you just got to get stuff done. All right, um, let's see. Let's let's get the um, lip stuff out of the way. Um, I've got my Franken lip balm, tinted lip balm. I want to work on that because I feel like I'm getting close on it. Um, Rich Spice from Avon. I've just been using this as a, um, a, a cream blush. I have not really been using it on my lips, so I'm keeping that in to use as a cream blush. All right, I've got my Norris Rakugian. It is getting so tiny, and honestly, I feel like I might be able to get this done in this basket. So I'm crossing my fingers that this basket can have an empty. All right, I didn't want to do it, and yet I did want to do it at the same time. I'm bringing both of my liquid lipsticks back. This is the Sephora um, lip stain, the cream lip stain in pink tea, and Buxom Wine Me. Both of them have the stoppers out, but they just take forever. But it's kind of crazy, but in the last two weeks, as much as I hate to say it, I kind of missed the the bright lip from Wine Me. It's not something I want to wear every day, but every now and again, I don't know, I just kind of felt like um, I wanted something a little bit more bold and I didn't have it. So now it's going to be back in there. All right. So um, Urban Decay Vice Special Effects Regulate Lip Topper that... Um, can use on your eyes as well. Let's see, what, what do I want to get into next? Um, let's get my little jar out of the way. Um, Essence Lash Princess Sculpted Volume. That is my favorite of the Lash Princess. I have Essence Lash and Brow Gel Mascara. 
Um, I've got all four of my ColourPop BFF Cream Gel Liners. It's Prance Puppy, no, Prance Piggyback, Piggy Bank, <laughs> wow. Puppy is the orange and then Electric Daisy is the green. And then I have the Plum and Purple Duo. This is a liner and a um, eyeshadow stick from e.l.f. So let's get that out of the way before I start knocking things over. And of course I have my Starlux Gem Pencil in Amethyst because, you know, gotta have that. All right, let's get the eye bases out of the way. And that is going to be um, Submissive from Be A Bombshell. That one, fingers crossed, these are gonna be my two empties from this basket. Fingers crossed. Um, these two I had to put in because I promised that I was going to get these done before the next um, Project 10 Uses update. This is Bare Minerals Vine. I am going to use this and get her done. And then um, Sage Blue Mica Powder from Coastal Scents. Those two have been in forever. They need to get done before I hit that year mark. And I'm like, mm, what have I been doing for a year? Um, I've got my two ColourPop Glitter Gels after party no break the ice and after party after party is what i have on my lids today and um i've got gel the color pop jelly much no rest for the vivid been been wanting to wear that for the last two weeks and i forgot to put it in and i'm changing it up i have not had this in since i brought it in in april like brought it into a project in april this is the um had to find the name is the city color white gold it's an eyeshadow mousse and it is um it is white gold but it definitely pulls really gold on me which i don't mind because i really like gold eyeshadows so i want to get some usage on this for the week because um yeah it's been in i brought it into 50 shades of purple april 15th and i haven't touched it so yeah it was time to bring it into a project all right i've got my BH Cosmetics Carly Bible Original Palette. So um, I'll be working on that. And um, my Magnetic Palette. I filled it up just for Nona. Um, I've got, what is this? Benefit Hula Bronzer. This is Coastal Scents 88 Palette. Um, Coastal Scents Winterveld. The Potted Profusion Eyes Palette. These two are for Colorista. These three here are um, repressed from the Coastal Sense 88 Palette. This is Bare Minerals Sangria. Light Pink and Amethyst. Those are Coastal Sense Hot Pots. So I've got a little bit of color to play with. As of this moment, right now, these are the only things that are going to be in this basket. However, I do have a project intro going up live tomorrow so um less than 24 hours or 20 actually exactly 24 hours after you see this video my um my intro will be going up to a new project that i'm doing with my girl dana and i will be bringing in a palette for that project and that palette i am going to insert right into my makeup basket but i don't want to show it to you and spoil a surprise and i also don't want it in my basket officially before the start date of the project. So if you want to see what is going to be, which palette is going to be going into my basket for this week, check me out tomorrow here on YouTube and you will see the intro to a new painting project. So, and it's one that if you wanna join in, we would love to have you join into it. So there is that. All right, I'm gonna wrap this up. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And until I see you in my next video, have a beautiful day.